Hey, aloha y'all, namaste. Hey, this is White Magic Tiger tuning in. I'm the undercover hippie evangelist going out and sharing the great news with the world. And what is the great news? The great news is that the kingdom of heaven is with, within you, Luke 17, 21. The great news as well is that King Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He is the Messiah. He is the Savior. His name can cast out demons, demonic entities. His name can bring instantaneous healings, the healing of the blind, the healing of the lepers, the raising of the dead. Now, does that happen to everyone that prays in his name? No, it has to be the will of the heavenly father and the divine mother, but he is fully embodied that, in that Christ consciousness. And he can use us as conduits and channels to spread the Christ, to spread the instantaneous healings, to cast out demons. This is the great news. This is the gospel. He has the ability to forgive you of your sins, to clear your negative bad karma. And it, it's, it's so bountiful. He has the ability to bring peace into your life and calmness and restoration. And so uh, in this video today, I want to discuss uh, survival in the end times and minimalization because I have been going through quite a process of dealing with fear and, and trust. So uh, I wanna show y'all this. So this is all this food that I've got, I just stored up. There's a bunch of dried fruit, uh, sprouts, seeds, nuts. Um, I got this amazing instrument right here. I paid uh, $1,200 for this, it's called a harmonium. Um, this bunch of miscellaneous stuff over here. And then I also have a pickup truck and inside the pickup truck, I've got a mattress and, uh, I feel very attached to it because I got like these special sheets that are all hundred percent cotton. All the blankets are made of cotton. There's no plastics or anything. I've got a bunch of camping gear in there, all this stuff like, and so I bought all this camping gear. I bought all this food. I even bought a spear gun and fins and goggles because I live in Hawaii. I don't even eat fish, y'all. And I bought a $500 spear gun. And what I realized is that I got all this food out of fear. I got the spear gun out of fear. I got, what else? All this camping gear. I got all this camping gear out of fear and in fear of what well fear of the end of the world end times last days and and the the collapse of the economy and the potential for a food shortage and um uh, the like ww3 and 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 this idea like oh i need to go out into the jungle and like and like uh and live in the jungle like um just like i got like coconut tree climbing gear I got like everything I could think of for like basic survival. And um, now you might say like, there's, there's some rationality behind this, but it's just like, at the end of the day, this is not gonna save me. The camping gear is not gonna save me. The only thing that's gonna save me is King Jesus Christ, the savior, the Messiah. And that's what I'm starting to realize, y'all. I'm going through this right now, and I'm just like, I need to donate this all to a food bank. I need to donate this camping gear to a thrift store. Uh, this instrument, it's, uh, it's a lovely instrument. But, but I'm, a, I'm traveling, y'all. And it's just like, it's too bulky. And I, I really do want to give that away to someone special. And so I'm willing to travel with it just to gift it to someone rather than it's super nice instrument rather than just giving it to a thrift store and someone, I don't know, just not someone that's not going to appreciate it. It's a, it's a magical instrument. And, um, and so I've just been dealing with this like scarcity and this fear, this scarcity that I'm not going to be okay, that I'm going to die of starvation, that, uh, all these things that like, I'm not going to be safe, that I'm not going to be protected. And it's just like, white magic tiger you kidding me bro like if i go hide out in the jungle it's like they got technology to find people in the jungle it's like 
by like and just like getting like a camouflage hammock and like some camo gear and all this is like it's not gonna save you bro like because afghanistan was uh was a, like a, a trial like a test run like i'm talking about like in the early 2000s and it's like they were finding people in caves and all over the place and it's just like they got infrared technology and it's just like the only thing that's gonna save me is god and so over here i've got I, i've narrowed it down y'all i got this backpack super heavy might need to go through it again what i deem like essentials and then I've got this little, kind of littler guy. I put all my clothes in there. And I even got two blankets in there because I'm so attached to them. I couldn't just have one blanket. I got this, got this bag right here. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I want to go in here. So this right here, this is a this is a water distiller and uh yeah i don't i don't like drinking fluoride i don't like drinking chlorine i don't like drinking chemicals that are in the water system and so to me this is almost like an essential because that thing produces one gallon of distilled water uh in just a few hours and that also decalcifies the pineal gland and let me let me just take y'all through this if you're interested um i'm gonna open up the bag and just show you what i somehow deemed were the essentials. Okay. I have a, a Merce, a man purse. I've got a spiritual book. I got a yoga mat. Just one second, I'm just gonna pull it all out. Just take a second, y'all. I know this is super interesting, right? It kind of is of what like what I actually deemed essential. Okay. Let's take a look at this. First thing up. Dr. Browner's soap. Cuz you got to take showers and laundry. Okay. This is everything. Everything that was in that bag. So, military boots, you know? survival military boots but i don't own shoes so if it's kind of good to have if i do go hiking it is good to have machete with a sharpener on the inside this thing is awesome i love opening up coconuts enema bag because got to clear the colon this thing's amazing i highly recommend using distilled water this thing is dope this thing right here this is a pull-up bar. I'm gonna show y'all how this works. So there's two of them. See the other one on the bed? This is honestly so dope. I don't even say the word dope that much. I've already said it three or four times. Look at that. Look at, let's see, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I'm doing it. I see the feet are off. <laughs> yeah, so I got a, a, a pull-up bar. Then, yoga mat. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. This right here is called The Second Coming of Christ by Paramahansa Yogananda. This is some of the most esoteric Christian information about the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John Gospels. This is where it's at, y'all. If you really want to dive deep into esoteric Christianity and how it's all about yoga and that Jesus was teaching the scientific system of yoga meditation to his disciples and followers and devotees. I highly recommend this book. Um, but you could start off with this one. So it's just to show how crazy it is. <laughs> I bought a bunch of these, the yoga of Jesus. And this is awesome. But I, I bought all these to give out to people. And I'm just like, Oh, dude, I got so many, so many things. I just I can't travel with all this stuff. And I'm just like, give it to the thrift store. Maybe the, maybe the books will go out to the right people that way. Um, then I've got lap a laptop bag, laptop in there. I got this Merce. It's a big Merce. Let's see what's inside the Merce. So I got a, like this EMF bag. 
I put my electronics in here, like my phone. This is, there's a brush, uh, like a hairbrush, toothbrush, uh, tongue scraper, uh, some natural toothpaste, headlamp. These things are awesome. Really awesome. That's pretty much it, y'all. Oh, of course. Coconut meat scooper, so you open up the coconut, you can scoop the meat out with this. Coconut popper, you can pop the coconut with that. And then another scraper to scrape the meat out. Um, yeah, I really dig the coconuts, and it's, it's very useful to have all the tools on hand, um, including the machete. Machete is like key part. Uh, and so, I just like, I got more junk here. And it's just like, I got all this stuff, y'all. And it has been occupying my mind. Crazy. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Cause like, I was just like, oh, what if I just put this all in a storage unit? And then it's like, I'm still going to be thinking about it. It's like, yeah, it's going to be all organized in, in like one place. And it's just like, <sighs> it's too much stuff for one person. And, and like all, like all the, all the camping gear, all the food is like, it is out of fear of like a food shortage. It is out of fear of just like, like just having to flee into the jungle because of the Kool-Aid making the Kool-Aid mandatory for everyone to drink. Um, yeah, y'all anyways. Yeah. So I got the, I got the truck and, um, I mean, if you're interested, I, I mean, we might as well just go to the truck and see what's going on. So we'll take this time to uh, remember to breathe. So let's do some breathing between now and when I get to the car. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe into the belly. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. All right, y'all. I feel really awesome just from doing that. Do y'all feel that? It's like a mild high from that. Okay. Oh, this right here, my favorite flower in the entire world. Smell that. It comes from this tree. It's called a, what is it, plumerian? Plumerian? It smells so good. This is what I imagine heaven smells like. <laughs> okay, y'all. Here she is. This is Big Red. She's a big boy, <laughs> big girl. <laughs> okay, and so we look in here, this back window fell off. It's crazy. Maybe that's a sign. But anyways, I even got this, I got this, I got this truck. I bought it like two months ago. And I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, I gotta sell it. <laughs> and so I, I have a couple people interested in buying it right now. But so anyways, uh, I got this like super dope bed that's like, it's a Japanese like floor mattress. It's awesome. Like I, uh, there's plenty of room for me to, to meditate in here. Um, then I got that, like, there's just all this junk, right? Do you see all that? It's just like junk. I mean, it's not really all junk, but I'm just like that in combination with everything in the room. It's like, are you kidding? It's just like, oh, it's so much. And then like, I want to travel. I want to move around, but it's like. I'm tied down now. I'm tied down with the with the vehicle and with all these things. And it's like I can't just be like free like a bird. I'd have to I have to um ship the car over. Um here's another one. Yeah, I'll give you a, you a close up look at these things. It's beautiful. 
my one of my favorite trees i didn't even know it was just it's amazing and so yeah these things just like unfortunately uh seem to really occupy the the mind and i'm just like because of one scripture that's been um like coming to me is the one about like sell everything you have and like follow jesus and that the idea that like um like like uh what is the saying like uh oh i'm blanking on it but you know like the rich man it's like the rich man can enter into the the, the, it would be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than it will be for a rich man to enter into the, the gates of heaven. And um, it's because, like, you can't serve two masters. Either you serve money or you serve, like, the real God. And uh, money, yeah, of course, is being used to control us and all that. And um, But it can, be used, it can be used for the kingdom's sake. But it's just like, what is our uh, number one thought? What is the what is the the number one thing that we're we're thinking about, and are we thinking about the kingdom and serving the kingdom? Is that the is that the number one thought, or is it for a lot of people? Is it is it money? Is is that the is that the number one thing they think about? And it, uh, essentially, money is like it is like the god of this culture. It is like the god of this society. God with a lowercase g. And people will do anything for this. They'll lie, cheat, and steal, and kill for this for this stuff. And um, anyways, so I'm, I'm, I, so I'm just like been playing around here, back, in, back into the humbly abode. Um, so I'm just like playing around with all this of like, okay, what are the, like, what are the, the quote unquote bare essentials? Like, what do I, what do I really need? And it's like, I don't need the harmonium, even though I, I, I love it. Um, and so I'm just, I'm just, I know there's a lot of other people going through this because like it's the last days, it's the end times. And it's like, oh, it's a natural reaction. Like, oh, food shortage, like buy a bunch of food. And like, I've been like praying. I'm like, God, get me on a farm. Like, and it's like, pff, farm's not going to save you, bro. F- storing up on a bunch of fruit, dried fruit, seeds, nuts, like sprouts. It's not going to save you, bro. It's just, there's nowhere you can run. It, 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 we, it, it is going to come down to divine intervention, divine protection. And, and I have to trust. This, this is a test of, can I trust? Can I fully trust that I'm going to be okay? That when the food shortage happens and there's no food at the grocery store, am I going to trust and know that I'm okay? When the money doesn't work anymore, am I going to trust and know that I'm okay? When the bombs start dropping... Am I going to trust and know that I'm okay? When they start rounding up the people that don't drink the Kool-Aid, am I going to trust and know that I'm okay and protected? And so these are very deep things, y'all. And I'm doing my best to face it head on and be fearless and not do things out of fear because like me, like getting, that's a lot of food, y'all. That's a lot. It's, I spent a lot of money on this. And this is not the first time I've done this. I did this about a year ago. I did the exact same thing. Like, I just hoarded up on a bunch of, like, a bunch of food. And then just, and I ended up giving it all away to a, a church. And I'm about to do the same thing with all this. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, y'all, thank you for listening. I hope, I hope you found this insightful. And, and just, like, I really like the, the idea of minimalization. Like, only having, like, the things you need. And just, like, the idea of just having those two backpacks and, like, the distiller, it's, like, I can manage that. I can put the backpack on my back, and I can carry the two other bags in my hands. And it's, like, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff just right there. And then just, like, because, like, part of the reason I got the truck and all this is, like, it's, like, I need to move my stuff. My possessions have been possessing me. And I don't think my belongings belong with me anymore because it's been very possessive these possessions and i just like i'm just like i I want just like out of my life i'm I'm very grateful to financially be able to afford all this stuff but i'm just like it's it's to the it's immobilizing me it's immobilizing my ability to freely float around and be fluid it's dense 
It's not liquid. These assets, that truck is not a liquid asset. Liquid being like cash where it just flows. And so I honestly feel like by being more fluid and liquidizing everything, that will have an effect on me physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Like everything will be more fluid. I'll be able to flow more. Anyways, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Peace be with all of y'all. Namaste.